Empire Slackmaster fans, continuing with the Cardona Collection, Volume 1, we're going to watch something called Cyclone. Never even heard of it. Let's check it out. Goodbye. At the lighthouse, a little coral reef. I'm going to take you there so you can see... Well, our movie is in the Caribbean somewhere, and as you've heard, there is a cyclone coming. Here's a plane in the area. We're heading back toward the pressure point. Over and up. They've been ordered to turn around because of the bad weather. There's also a fishing boat that's in peril as the storm hits. The plane's in trouble. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Flight 125. They're in big trouble now. There are a few survivors, however. These are the survivals of the fishing boat. So you have three sets of people. Our plane survivors, our fishing boat survivors, and there's also the tour boat. I'm very sorry, Mr. Montalvo, but we still haven't been able to make contact with them. That's my granddaughter, Tirsa, is coming on that plane. What could have happened? The tour boat. If you would have turned the motor off when we were angered, we'd have enough gas to be in port already. Perhaps if you'd done that, we'd all be at the bottom of the sea. And one of director Rene Cardona's favorites, sharks. One of the plane survivors is dumb enough to have some gashes on his legs. The plane survivors managed to meet up with the fishing boat survivors. The order is to cancel the search and return to base. But before we go, let's cover this area. And then the fishing boat meets up with the tour boat. We're all together now. Everything here is enough. There's so little water. It's rushed. We can't share it. Carol Baker plays Sheila. She has her dog on board. He's had enough of it. But guess why he decided to save it? Food. Well, the next thing you know, one of the women starts to uh, scream in pain. And a few minutes later, a baby pops out. Didn't see that one coming. Then they all pass the baby around and... Jesus, don't give it to that guy. He might eat it dies from exposure, so what to do with the body? What does that have to do with Carmelo? We could use something of his body for bait. Fish to eat good tonight. Well, their human bait actually does hook a shark, but unfortunately, they're not able to get into the boat. They do get some good news, though, when the skies break open and the rain comes. There's no other choice. Now they're thinking about eating people. Would you permit your little boy to eat human flesh? Why has he rescued us? He's talking about God. Because the priest doesn't want them to eat human flesh. All those who agree. So they put the guy on top of the boat, and they're going to uh, cook him. And they've chopped him up into hors d'oeuvres. And it's dinner time. So then the baby and the mother and a couple others take off in that other little boat. Well, then there's a struggle over the remaining water bottles. And then, oops, these guys lucked out. They stumbled upon a boat. Here's a boat. Stop. Meanwhile, these dumbasses broke their boat when the water fell through, and now the water's filling up the boat. And then here come the sharks. So that boat that rescued the others uh, sent some planes out. They're not going to have to pick up a whole lot of people with all the sharks. Hope they rescue who they can. Not that guy. 
and our film just abruptly ends. All right, let's talk about Cyclone. We got a view from the couch today. So, anyway, this is another Rene Cardona movie, Mexican director, and um, like Tintorera and uh, Bermuda Triangle, there's some sharks in this one. He seems to have a fascination with sharks. But anyway, this movie I'd never seen before, and uh, Carol Baker was in this. Hugo Stiglitz, who I think was also in both of those movies I just named. I think some of his relatives, like his son, are in this as well. He used a lot of the same cast. He made a lot of these exploitation movies right around the same time period in the late 70s, mid to late 70s, uh, into the 80s also. But anyway, this movie here, it's an hour and 58 minutes, which is a little long, probably about about a half hour they could have cut out of this. But it's about a uh, cyclone that hits. They're somewhere in the in the Bahamas area. I don't know, somewhere in the Caribbean. And um, we basically follow three sets of people. One set is on a uh, fishing boat uh, that goes uh, that sinks, and then we and they're on, stuck on a little raft. Uh, we have this tour boat that's going to go look at the coral reefs, and we have about maybe. 15 to 20 people on board that one. Uh, they Their boat does not sink, but they run out of gas, so they're stuck, stranded out in the middle of nowhere. And then we also have a plane that was flying overhead that crashed and maybe had uh, a dozen survivors that were floating in the water. Eventually, the, the survivors from the plane meet up meeting with the fishing boat people, and they all end up meeting with the uh, tour boat people eventually. Um, sharks attack periodically and uh, uh, eat some of the people in the water. Ultimately, we have maybe 20 people on the boat. Um, there's very little water left, so they fight over that. Uh, they have no food. They've been out there for like a week, if not longer at this point. A few of them start to die. Um, at one point, they kill the dog and slice its throat open and cook it. That was gruesome, actually. <laughs> very brutal. I hope that wasn't a real dog, but man. Um, and then they debate whether or not they should use the human meat as bait for uh to try to catch some fish or some sharks which ultimately fails when that fails they decide to cook a person on top of the boat and i don't know exactly know how they cooked the guy because they never really showed him cooking um and i don't think they started a fire up there but whatever they ended up chopping him up into tiny pieces and eating him um ultimately a couple of people one woman gave birth out of nowhere uh, then she and the, a couple other people left in the other boat, and they got rescued by a bigger boat. And the bigger boat called in some planes to come rescue the other people. And as they were being rescued, their their boat sank because they got into an argument over the water, uh, the bottled water that they had. And then the sharks ate a bunch of them. The plane landed in the water and picked up whoever was left, which wasn't that many, actually, maybe five or six. And uh, that's how the movie ended. So anyway, that is Cyclone. Um, like I said, it's a little long in the tooth, uh, almost two hours long, which is about 25 percent too long for a film like this um but i honestly wasn't bored by it was it a great movie no it was okay um i think it's rated pg if it was rated at all there's no nudity in this movie a little bit of blood and gore i guess you could say with the shark attacks and that poor dead dog um but yeah i wasn't bored by it at all it kept moving and even though it was a little long it kept going so there you go Ain't got much more to say about it. Anyway, Cyclone is available. I don't know if it's available uh, besides on this collection here. Probably is. Maybe it is. I don't know. But I got on this Cardona collection, which comes with like, a, not only does it come with a slip cover, but the slip cover then goes inside this bigger box. So it's quite a box set. In fact, it's a pretty solid box, actually. Anyway, that's it. Uh, I'll leave a link to uh, this if it's, actually, I don't think this particular collection is on Amazon, but the movie itself is there on DVD. I'll leave a link to that. Check it out. Let me know what you think about it. It's Cyclone. Watch it. Bye.